Hello and welcome back to Young's Joy Players Pokemon here. And today we were in Eternal City, but this is probably the last episode that we were going to be in Eternal City for. And yes, as you saw, I caught a bee doof, taught it cut to get through there. Because today we're taking on the bugs again, the Weevil Underwood a Pokemon. And this would this episode would have been like 20 minutes long, so I had to speed up. I had to speed up all the battles, so. I was thinking about cutting them, but then what would be the point? There's no real point in cutting them because then this episode would be just one battle and it'd be very boring. So I decided to speed up all these battles. I, basically, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to cut them out because I don't see the point in cutting out the battles. So I'm just going to speed them up. If you can still see what I'm doing, you can keep tr good track of my Pokemon. And I just find it slightly more entertaining. But if there is any really long battles, like. Battles for some reason it'll take me ten minutes long. I have no idea why the team that long. They're just mine. So, yeah. Uh, my quality, if you can tell, is slightly better. As I posted on Twitter yesterday, I said I've got better quality. But it is my editing software. My editing software, when it puts it into the editing software, the quality just drops. It just goes, just goes down to what it is now. But yeah, it's slightly better. I don't know how I got it like that. I just did. So yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit tired. I had, na I had nine tailed gamers stayed over at mine the other night, and last night I stayed up till about. I think it was about half twelve uh, after already a knackering night. I have found another British YouTuber, apart from Tomska, that I actually like. And that's Emma Blackery. She's been on YouTube a lot less than she, I've been on YouTube a lot longer than her. Yeah, she's already a you a, a, a big YouTuber. Well, not a big YouTuber if to say, but she she can class herself as an official YouTuber. Whereas me, I'm a YouTuber, but I'm so small people wouldn't recognise me as a YouTuber. So yeah, I have seven subscribers on this channel. Yay! And 31 on two happy badges. Yay! But. I don't know whether to post it on this channel or my Two Happy Badgers channel, but, I, but there will be a video up because I watched one of her videos, and God, did it make a lot of sense! It just made so much sense, but yet I couldn't really relate to it. It's about bullies and stuff, and I was bullied quite a lot when I was younger, so I actually still do get bullied quite a bit. And my channel doesn't really help, but I like it, so I'm sticking with it, and I've just learned to ignore the fuckers. But yeah, I will be ex I will be doing that, and there is basically there'll be a whole video on that, and I will be basically I agree with her, and you'll see why. So yeah, and here basically today I actually get shit done. I could got shit done last time. I don't mean I didn't get nothing done. I mean I just got I get stuff done. Like I get my Pokemon up levels. Like Mikuru here gets up to level 15, I think. So basically, she's only two levels instead of like four levels under my team now. So basically, Mikuru is doing pretty well. I the only Pokemon I actually don't have a nickname that's in my pack right now is Beedif because he's just becoming my HM slave and Lee. He can just go and sit in the box later on. But uh, yeah, I've got. I need to get two more Pokemon actually. I have one in my. I actually have two in mind. One's a Ponyta, and I'm thinking about using a Medicham. Yeah, I think I might use a Medicham. It just, it just seems right. I just really want to use a Medicham. And my phone is ringing. And considering my door is open because it is boiling, this phone is ringing and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sorry if you can hear it. It's probably just a shitty call centre. Hello, it's me from India. I would like to send you some uh, double glazing. Only five ninety nine. I'm like, I don't really give a fuck. We already have double glazing. Come on, it deal. We replace your shitty double glazing with our exact same double glazing. No, no, I'm all right. Oh, did you know host prices are going down and up, up and down? And did you know? The government are doing shit all about it. We could help you find a nice house in your budget, and it and your mortgage price will stay the same. Or you can just pay back whatever you can each month. Blah 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 blah. blah. I don't give a shit. You're a recording message. I hate them. In England, we get them all the fucking time. So yes, 
I don't know why I'm swearing today, I just am. I'm in one of those moods. But I wanted to get this video out, so, meh. Dave, Beto, Flay, all that. Them two were hitches. Lee can just go die in a box. So can Beto. Ah, uh, not really. He's my hitches. But yes, we get Grotto today. I just love this music. I love it. 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 I don't know why, I just love it. It just sounds so creepy. I said, oh, this cadabra. Yeah, them young whippersnaps and their cadabras. The ever cadabra can add a kazam with their magic tricks. Yeah. Anyway, Mikuru, Mikuru is super effective against it, so. Mm, I just could be using Pursuit. Well, no, Mikuru isn't super effective against it. The move Pursuit is, which Mikuru knows. He's super effective against it. So, yeah. I now have the Skypes. I just thought I'd throw that out there. I now have the Skypes. Uh, yeah. My Twitter is at Two Happy Badgers. It's Jack Chris with Two Happy Badgers. Uh, the whole reason it's a Two Happy Badgers is because I wanted it because I'm using it for both my YouTube channels as well. So it's my personal, my YouTube channel one. So sue me. But yeah, because in that way people can just keep track and stuff and see what I do get to off my daily life. So yeah. And is this battle for some reason seemed to take forever? This damn Zubat really didn't help. It just did not help at all. And when I did film this, it was like I started experimenting with it. I sort of started experimenting with it, so before I actually started recording, and that's when I got my Bidoof and all that. So I might as well just get a beard up before I start and teach you cut and just not eat into the episode and you can see where I'm going with that because I want as much of this episode to be the episode and stuff. And I will now I have now been able I have now been given the thing from YouTube where I can make my own thumbnails! Yes! My first thumbnail was an absolute failure and today's thumbnail will be a lot, lot better. I will make sure it's neat, I will make it better, and yeah, I don't know what it is why I'm doing these arm movements that I always do, I think I've been watching too much Emma Blackery, I've kind of picked up on that, you really know me, I do hand gestures all the time, I do hand gestures when I'm talking to my friends, to describe stuff, I'm like, well this can just go over there, not like that can just go over there, it's like, no, this, you can move it, and I literally just like, like, yeah, I do weird hand movement -y thingies all the time, and I, as a British person, I love Doctor Who, I absolutely love Doctor Who, I loved it with Christopher Eccleston brought it back, I loved it with David Tennant, Matt Smith grew on me over time, I'm slightly disappointed that he's left, and I ri I'm not big fan of the person that's taken Matt Smith over. If he, as my dad says, he's a mix between John Pertwee, David Tennant, and ah, I should have mentioned that in with him first. I had him in my head now. Uh, the person who played the second Doctor, Patrick Troughton. That's it, Patrick Troughton. Yeah. That's what my dad said he's a mixture of. And when my, my dad was a kid when it first came out, so. Yeah, and he's 50 something now, so. And I'm 15, so yeah. I haven't seen many of the old ones. Yeah. But yeah, I can assure you the effects weren't the best. One of them, this is the one I can remember quite vividly. I don't remember the actual episode, but I knew it was with Cybermen. They had Cybermats in it. I don't think they were called Cybermats back then, but... Eh. Like, you know the one with James Corden? Have you ever seen the Doctor Who with James Corden in? There's, with the Cybermen? There's them little Cybermat things? Yeah, they were in the, the originals, but I don't think they were called Cybermats. They might have been. But yeah, this guy goes to make one up. It's, it's something. Basically, he gets infected with this thing and he starts turning him up, turning him all green and horrible. But basically the what they basically do is they put bubble wrap on this guy's hand and paint it green. 
Not saying there's anything wrong with that, it's very creative, but he just made me laugh. How can people have found that scary? The only thing I found scary was the Weeping Angels. And I think the main reason I found the Weeping Angels scary is because I was young, younger when they first came out. And it's their eyes, because their, their eyes are blank. And it is just the fact that... And the thing is the Weeping Angels, the Doctor says, You can't kill these angels. You basically, basically you can't kill us down. Ever heard of a sledgehammer? Or a chisel? Just saying, just saying. And here, we are getting the Tower of the Terrors. Not Tower of the Terrors, the Grot of the Grottles. Yes, and you can't see my hand movements. So these are a bit irrelevant. I'm kind of showing off like one of them people on the chopping channels, which are shit. Yay. We defeat Jupiter! Yay! We've beaten a Mars bar and a giant ball of cats! So, yay! I think the other one's Saturn. Something like Saturn. But yeah. Right now, we are going to go and get probably the thing that I'm probably going to use quite a lot in this Let's Play thing. My jobby, my ball sacks. Um, the bike, that's it. I couldn't remember it for a second, and it's kind of going to be in the name of the title. Bugs. Bugs. Bike. Ball of gas. It's going to be something along them lines. You'll know what it is. So, yeah. I go in. He says, Thank you for saving me! My nipples are hard! I'm slightly bald and I look like a Chinese man! But no. He going to go and get it. He gives us the latest model of bike, teaches how to use it and all. There's a, there's a guy with a backwards cap there. This has been Youngster Joey. Thanks for watching. It's been Youngster Joey. Starting out. Bye. I, I, I don't know what the hell that was. Just bye. I'm just gonna register my bike and, you know. Bye. Just fuck you and just bye.